Hello everybody and welcome to The Strange, The Bizarre, The Unusual, I Like It. This is Roger Hansen and I'm coming to you with another short video. This is something that I found out um, back in 2013 that I found interesting so I figured I would share it. Um, I don't know if anybody has ever really heard of Ebene Ebenezer Cobb Morley. He was uh, regarded as uh, the father of football, which is the soccer version of football, not the American version. Um, uh, when he was buried, he was buried at Barnes Cemetery. And Ebenezer Cobb Morley was born in 1831, and, and he died in 1924. He was uh, an English sportsman and is re regarded as the father of football of the Football Association and modern football which is considered soccer in the United States. Um, he, he was born at uh, 10 Garden Square, Prince, Princess Street in uh, Hull, and lived in the city until he was 22. He then moved to Barnes in 1858, forming the Barnes Club, a founding member of the FA in 1862. In 1863, as captain of the Mortlake Base Club, he wrote to Bell's Life newspaper proposing a governing body for the sport that led to the first meeting at the Freemasons Tavern that created the F.A. He was the F.A.'s first secretary from 1863 to 1866 and its second president from 1867 to 1874 and drafted the first laws of the game in his home in Barnes, at his home in Barnes. <coughs> As a player, he played in the first ever match against Richmond in 1863 and scored in the first representative match between the clubs of London and Sheffield. In on uh, March the 34th or 31st, I'm sorry, <clears throat> of 1866. Uh, a solicitor by profession, Morley was a keen oarsman, founding the Barnes and Mortlake Regatta, for which he was also secretary, and that was between 1862 and 1880. He served on Surake County Council for Barnes between 1903 and 1919 and was a Justice of the Peace. Morley uh, is buried in Barnes Cemetery and the reason why I think that this is interesting is this was basically the man who was regarded as the father of football and he's buried he was buried in Barnes uh, Cemetery which is now an abandoned graveyard uh on Barnes Common um he uh and he had no children now uh Barnes Cemetery <coughs> also known as Barnes Old Cemetery is a uh disused cemetery in Barnes southwest London England and it's located off Rock, Rocks Lane on Barnes Common. The cemetery was established in 1854 on two acres of sandy ground purchased by the Church of England for the sum of, uh, I think it's it would be 10, uh, I don't know what the symbol is there, but 10 something. A chapel, lodge, and landscaping were provided at a further cost of uh, 1,400, no, I'm guessing pounds, 10 pounds or 14, and 1,400 pounds. The cemetery functioned as an additional burial ground to the local parish churchyard. It was well used and a number of distinguished Victorians were buried there with a variety of monuments and statues erected to their m memory. At the center of the cemetery is a large memorial of the Hedgeman family who were local benefactors in Barnes. The cemetery was claimed to be haunted by a ghostly nun that would hover over the grave of Julia 
Martha Thomas of Julia Martha Thomas, the victim of an infamous murder in 1879. In 1966, the cemetery was acquired by the London Borough of Richmond upon Thames with the intentions of turning it into a lawn cemetery, a grass-covered area where each grave is marked with a commemorative plaque rather than standing memorials. The consul demolished the chapel and lodge and removed the boundary rails to prepare the cemetery for its new row. However, it then dropped the plans and effectively abandoned the cemetery. Barnes Old Cemetery is today overgrown with trees and shrubs. Many of the monuments have been vandalized and most of the statues have been uh, decapitated. Although efforts have been made to clear the paths, the cemetery has been in a state of acute neglect and disregular and disrepair for decades. A local c- counselor commented as long ago as 1971 that I have been I've seen burial grounds at Flanders marched over by scores of troops. But even they did not look as bad as the barn cemetery. For its part, Richmond Council describes the cemetery as an atmosphere and romantic place with an avocative atmosphere of decay and seclusion. So, uh, if you guys live in that area... I'd also like to tell you that uh, I actually checked into all that, and I believe that, I don't know if the guy's still around or not, but there's only one person who goes out there and actually tries to renovate that graveyard. If you do live in England and you do care about your heritage, I think that would be an issue that you would really want to get involved in. Um, I know how the English are about uh, football and how patriotic they are when it comes to that so if uh, you do have thoughts on that and you uh, want to stand up for that that would be something that I would be talking to local uh, politicians and legislature about maybe changing you know because I mean that that's that's pretty bad Right now, um, that's all I really want to post about these uh, graveyards. I'm going to, when I first started doing the strange, the bizarre, and the unusual, I got interested in uh, abandoned graveyards, and I uh, did some research, and I found that story, and then I also ended up doing more research, and one of the guys who started uh, using cane sugar and stuff like that, you know, so I will post more of when I do find them. I haven't done it in a while, but I think I'm going to get back to it and uh, start posting more about them. If anybody has any information concerning abandoned graveyards and the history of the graveyards or people that were buried there that uh, really need to be taken, we need to really be taking notice about, then... uh, Feel free to make a comment in the comment section, and I'll make videos of it. I'll check it out and investigate it and stuff like that. A while ago, I uh, had a website, too, that I went to. I can't remember what it was, but it was a list and list of abandoned graveyards all across the, the country, and I think there was some in other countries, too, on there. So I will... Uh, start getting back into it and uh, making a podcast about it and then you guys know what's going on there so thanks for watching and have a good day